Now let's talk about search groups in SOSL queries. Okay, so uh, while writing down SOSL queries, we write down find, then uh, find is the keyword obviously to specify that, that this is uh, like a SOSL query. And after that, we specify the text that you want to search. And after that, we specify where, in which fields we want to search this particular text. And that is what is called as search group. And after that, we specify returning. That means what type of data or what type of objects you want to uh, search it in. So let's talk about the search group thing for now. In search group, we specify that in which type of fields uh, this text can be there. And I, wa I want it to be returned that, uh, at that particular moment. So how it's going to work. So there are five types of uh, search groups uh, that we can use. One, all fields. Second one, name fields. Third, email fields. Fourth, phone fields. And fifth one, site fields. What that means? Let me explain it to you. All fields means that this text can be there in any type of field, literally any type of field. And if there, if this text is there in any type of field, that record should be returned in the result. And this is the by default one. So if you're not specifying any search group, uh, all fields is used by default. And if you specify, it will have the same effect or it will, it will have the same impact or it will return the same result. There will be no difference. But when I'll write down name field, this will only search the text in the fields which have the name attribute set as true for those particular fields. So all the name fields that we have in different different objects, whether it is a custom object or a standard object, have this name field property set as true. So it will search the text in those fields only when it comes to name fields. And when it comes to email fields, uh, it will obviously, as the name specifies, it will only search the record or that particular text that you have specified after find in uh, email fields. Nowhere else, it will not search it into the name fields. And if you specify phone, uh, if you will specify phone fields, then in that case, the text or the yeah the text uh, that you, or the string that you have written down over there uh, will be searched in phone fields only. It will not be searched into email fields or name fields or any other field. And the fifth one is sidebar fields. So we have a sidebar in Salesforce, and all the fields that are there into the sidebar. If you want to search uh, the text into the fields which are present onto the sidebar for those particular objects, then in that case we can use sidebar fields in the search groups. So these are all the types, all the different types of search groups that we can use with SOSL query. Let's discuss them one by one. Let's start with the first search group that is all fields. All fields is a by default search group that is applied to every SOSL query if you haven't specified any search group. So let's have a look at the query in which we have specified all fields as a, a search group. So here's a simple query. Find test in all fields returning account comma contact. So this, uh, like this query will search test in all the fields that are available into account and contact. It will not be restricted to any name field or any email field or phone fields. It, it will search uh, this text, which is test over here, uh, in all the fields that are available onto these particular objects. And it's going to return the list of list of S object in SO list. And this is how we're going to iterate uh, both of the like both of the lists uh, that we're going to get uh, as a part of this SOSL query then now let's talk about the second query or the second search group basically that we have with sosl that is name fields so it's this this like whenever we specify name fields and by the way i think i forgot to mention that how do we specify search groups so we specify search groups with the help of in keyword you first need to write down in keyword and after in keyword you need to write down that in which fields you want to search uh, this particular text. So over here I've written down all fields and when it comes to name fields, if I want to search uh, this text onto only name fields, then in that case, I'm going to write down in and then name fields. So name fields over here is the search group, uh, which basically defines that the this text will be searched only in the name fields and which fields are name fields. So the fields that have the name property set as true uh, is defined as the name fields and this SSL query will only search univ uh, then asterisk asterisk is basically used to define zero or n number of characters after u n i v and uh, this will search this text in only name fields if the like univ uh, star or univ asterisk is in phone field or is in email field it will not be returned uh, or that record will not be returned as a part of this SSL queries result 
So in this query, we're going to get the result into this results uh, list of list of S object. And uh, we're going to get the first list, which is account, um, like account and the second list is contact. And uh, we'll assign it to accounts, uh, accounts list that we have created over here. And we're going to just write down the name and it will return University of Arizona. This will be the, uh, this will be basically the result. Uh, this result is based on the data that you have into your org. But uh, for me, I already have a record which uh, I already have an account in my Salesforce org which has the name University of Arizona. So this will be returned as a part of this SSL query. The next search group is email fields. So if you want uh, the text to be searched only into the email fields, then in that case, we'll simply specify in email fields and returning, we can specify anything. So over here, I am searching asterisk.com. So all the emails uh, in the contact object, uh, which has uh, the domain name or the like, which has com and before com, there can be literally anything. It can be like at gmail.com at yahoo.com at hotmail.com whatever it is so it will be returned as uh, like those records will be returned as part of this ssl query inside this s list uh, list of list s object and this is a basic example of the output that we're going to get out of it the next one that we have in the search group is phone fields so in phone fields uh, we're searching this like uh, this is the text that we are searching in the phone fields over here and to specify the search group as phone fields, we'll write down in phone fields and then re in returning, we'll write down contact, first name, last name and uh, phone, the fields that we want as part of the result. And we'll basically return the contact, which will include first name is equals to Jack, last name Rogers and phone is equals to 336, uh, whatever it is and ideas, this. So if you want to search any text only into the phone fields, then use uh, in phone fields search group. Next and the last uh, sidebar field. So if you want to search the text that uh, if you want to specify that the text that you're searching should be there in the sidebar fields only, not in name fields, not in email fields, but the fields that are available into the sidebar. So in that case, just specify in sidebar fields, just like this, and it will return the result and it will definitely return the same result uh, in our case, because in contact object, we have the phone field specified into the sidebar as well. And that's all what you need to know about search groups in SOSL query.